kinetic theory of matter. Why solids have a definite shape and volume? Why liquids do not have a definite shape? Why gases have neither a definite shape or volume? What is the effect of heat on the three states of matter? What is melting and melting point? What is evaporation? What is boiling point? Heat and matter. Matter can be classified into three states, namely solids, liquids and gases. Let us see why solids have a definite shape and size. Arrangement of molecules in solid The molecules are closely packed and arranged at definite distances in a definite manner. The average distance between the molecules is very small, approximately 10 raised to minus 10 meters. This minimal distance is responsible for the large attractive forces between the molecules. Because of the strong attractive force, the molecules in a solid can only vibrate about their mean position but cannot leave their mean position. Hence, solids have a fixed shape. The vibration of molecules about their mean position can be thought of as 100 people in a living room, all glued to the floor. They can all move a little but can't move their feet. Why liquids do not have a definite shape? Arrangement of molecules in water Note that the average distance between the liquid molecules is larger than in the solids. This makes the mutual force of attraction between the molecules much less as compared to solids. Because of the weak force, the molecules can move throughout the liquid. The motion of the liquid molecules is irregular and random. Hence, liquids do not have a definite shape and can flow. The free motion of the liquid molecules can be thought of as the people in the room have been fed some high energy food so that they can pull their feet free and move around. But since the door is locked, they are all still very close together. Gases have neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. They occupy the whole available volume and take the shape of the container.
arrangement of molecules in gases in a gas the molecules are much farther apart than in a solid or a liquid The random motion of the gas molecules can be thought of as moving or liquid. People are now given some even higher energy food. Now they can get outside just like a gas. There is an energy difference or strength of bond between the three states of matter. The gas molecules have higher energy and looser bonds than the solid molecules. Heat or temperature have a direct effect on the state of a substance. Generally, increasing the heat turns solids into liquids and liquids into gases. Reducing it turns gases into liquids and liquids into solids. Effect of heat on the three states of matter. On heating the ice, its molecules gain energy and begin vibrating more vigorously. The gain in energy helps the molecules to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces. Consequently, at a particular temperature, the molecules leave their mean position and move about freely. As the molecules leave their mean position, the solid ice turns into liquid state, which is water. This process by which a solid changes into a liquid at a particular temperature is called melting. The temperature at which a solid changes into the liquid state is called the melting point. The molecules in the liquid keep moving about in all possible directions with different velocities. The molecules within the liquid are surrounded by other molecules and hence face strong attractive forces from all sides. Hence, they experience a net force of attraction towards the interior of the liquid. When these molecules collide with each other, they gain kinetic energy. This energy helps the molecules to overcome the net inward attractive force and escape into the space above the liquid. These escaping molecules form the vapor of the liquid. The process in which a liquid changes to vapor is known as evaporation. Evaporation is essentially a surface phenomenon 
and it takes place at all temperatures. As the liquid is further heated, not only the surface molecules but also the molecules near the walls of the containing vessel start leaving the liquid. With continued heating, the bubbles grow in size and move to the surface in quick succession. The temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure is called the boiling point. At this point, the entire liquid is at the same temperature. Even after continued heating for some more time, the reading of the thermometer remains the same. Let us take a look at the effects of heat on the three states of matter. When heat is supplied to a solid, it melts and turns into liquid. When further heat is supplied to a liquid, it evaporates or boils and turns into gas. When heat is removed from the gas state, it condenses into liquid. When further heat is removed from the liquid, it solidifies or freezes into the solid state.